Hello, Sandy here again from um, Fairy Tale Daydream. We're going to be looking at some Crafters Companion um, stuff today, and I'm going to be doing you a make using the Spectrum Aquas. Um, so, we're going to make this lovely snowy scene, and um, for this one, it's on a gift card wallet. And again, there's an insert piece here, which again has got the Spectrum Aqua around the outside looking like a little snowy scene. This would be where you put your gift card. Um, but I'll be doing how to make and the measurements for this wallet in a later um, video but for now we're just going to be looking at the snowy scene okay so what we're going to be using is I'm going to be using the little snowman from the new Desire Christmas Classics range he's Frosty the snowman and um, we've got fabulous snowman die um, and this section for his scarf is dead easy to cut out and his little arms and his little hat so you can do them in what colour you want and we're using the Spectrum Aqua 12 pack and we're using the primary colours um, to make our snow um, and these are available on the Crafters Companion website we're going to be using some Peebo drawing gum and Crafters Companion the 300 GSM um, watercolour card um, I'll explain later on um, as we go through as to why this one is, is, is the best it really is really thick and sturdy we're going to be using um, the paintbrush the wide flat brush that's available on the crafters companion website the stick away which is a temporary temporary adhesive uh, the stick and spray which is a temporary adhesive and the stick away sorry is to get rid of it afterwards so we'll sort that in a minute Right, because the drawing gum takes a little bit of time to um, to dry, I've actually splattered mine already, and that's what this old paintbrush is for. Because what you're going to do is you're going to get your drawing gum, and you're literally just going to splatter with an old paintbrush. An old toothbrush will do the same thing, but I've got an old kid's paintbrush that I use. Um, onto your 300 GSM, and then it will look something like this. Now this is all dry, so means we can start painting on it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we want a lovely snowy scene. So we need um, a hill mask. My one's made out of Duflex, um, or you could use old packaging um, or some acetate. Um, what we want is actually it, it to be quite thick because that means we can actually run our pens right up against it. Um, and we're going to use the stick and spray because then it won't move. It's brilliant with stencils. So we're going to choose a part of our hill off camera. Just need to spray it, spray it so it doesn't go all over the piece of paper. So you'll probably be able to see slight, but it's a little bit tacky just there. Just give it a couple of seconds to take to, to dry onto there. And now it's nice and sticky. Once it's sticky, um, like it's slightly stronger than a, than, um, a sticky note or a post-it note, um, and then we want to put this on about halfway up, about there. It doesn't really matter. This your hills. It won't be in the same place, place as mine. And no two of these will ever be the same. So absolutely. Right, there we go. That's what I want to do. Now I'm going to only be using two aqua colours today. These are the Spectrum Aquas. And I'm going to be using the Navy and the Aquamarine. Um, they've got a handy brush end this end. And your fine tip is the other end in case in case you need to do any de detailed writing. So that's my navy, and there's my aquamarine. And I'm going to leave the caps off because I'm going to be going from one to the other. So dead simple to start. So we're going to take our aquamarine, and because the camera's over there, you have to excuse me. Right along, we just literally went along the edge of the stencil with our aquamarine. So we're going to go in and get some water. And we're literally just going to touch and touch, it was a, you know, a little tip from Leanne Shivers. Just touch and touch. Don't want to make it dry, but we just want to take the excess so we don't flood our paper. Um, going back to the fact that this is 300 GSM watercolour card while we drag this colour up is because when we add um, water repeatedly like we do with this technique, it means that we're not going to over soak the paper so that it bends and warps which it would with much thinner paper but there you go so what we've done is we've literally just dragged that colour up 
and faded it back out to the white. And then I'm going to use a light source coming in from sort of over there-ish. So I want to make it slightly darker in the hill, in the little valleys, and slightly darker just there. And then I'm going to run that down the side. So we're going to start building in some atmosphere from the side. Same again, just off with your water brush. And just take that, and it will be a little bit too much on there. Take that and bring that around. A little bit of atmosphere going on. And a little bit more water off and keeping that into that centre valley there and then coming round to our side hill. I can just stick that down there. Right, there you go. Side hill just there. And again, aquamarine, we're sticking with the same colour. And because this is where I want my, my light source to be coming in from, I'm going to not go all the way up. And I'm just going to touch a bit just there. You see now we're starting here and here to build some more atmosphere. And again, lightly, light water. It's uh, we can it quite easily go back and get some more water, but once we've flooded the card, it's going to be much much harder to correct any mistakes later, or any bits we want to lighten up. We won't be able to then flood them with water later to lighten them up. So we're going to bring that round, and there we go. So you'll see that I've got it much lighter coming in there, because that's where I've decided the light's coming from, and a bit darker down there. Right, now we're going to go to our navy, and we're going to put just off there, our light source is in this piece here, so we've got a little bit in our dip just there, and I want a little bit coming off there, and we want some atmosphere in this corner, so if you just touch it on, just touch it on because you're not going to want as much of the navy because you don't want it to overpower this um, the aquamarine section that you've got going on and you'll start to notice um, take off any excess colour that you don't want to to blend out and you'll start to notice as he, like here that I'm going over these bubbles from the um, masking fluid, the drawing um, gum, and that's because that's the bit we're going to rub off later for our snowstorm. So if we just bring that in, keeping that one that way because we don't want to get the dark in our lighted area. Clean our brush off. So we'll just bring that out. Bring it out. Get some paint off. Do you just get that colour back off? If it's starting to get a little bit too dark, just get your, just wipe your paintbrush onto your onto your towel. You can see, see on mine there how much colours I'm actually taking off as well as putting on. That's why we only touched the navy onto the paper because you can always take it back off, but we don't want to flood it with the colour. And just up a bit there. So now we've got some atmosphere going on. So we're focusing our view away from the edges of, of the card into that centre, which is where we want people to look because that's where our beautiful artwork is, not on the edge of the card. So we're going to do that. And now we're just going to blend, I finish blending those out by just some very, 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 and I'm only lightly touching the card, cardstock, just very, very lightly. Our light source is coming in from down there and um, just very very lightly touching I'm not, not actually putting a lot of pressure onto the card I'm just blending these edges out and then, then what we're going to do is we're going to clean our paintbrush in with the water clean it up and then we can go and just disperse those and if you've got any sharp edges you can just start to disperse those so there's no sharp edges but hey clouds have edges so let's not worry about it too much. And there we go. So there's our first hill. Moment of truth. Here we go. Mask off. Repositionable as we said. There you go. Gonna just give a um just give it a quick wipe so that I don't build it up too much. Now you'll see I've got a little bit of bleeding just here, and I'm not overly worried about them because obviously light comes off the top slightly down the hill a little bit off our snow bed, snowy, snowy hill here 
So, but I'm just going to blend it out just by pushing. The great thing about this flat white brush is we're just going to blend those back, take the colour off, and just make it look a bit more realistic. And we would have a little bit of shadow coming in, give it a little bit of. There you go. And there's our hill. Right, so we're going to move along with our stencil because in. With interest, it's better if you have two slightly different hills, but it's entirely up to you. So we're going to stick him down, and as you can see, I'm not holding this stencil at all. The repositionable, um, the excuse me, the stick and spray, completely repositionable over and over again, um, and it's quite happily there. No matter how I knock it, it's not going to come off. Use with stencils too. Right, so back in with the aquamarine. And a little bit up this side because we've got a smaller area to work with this time so I'm happier doing that so just take some of that wet your brush take some of that water off a little bit up the side and the really important bit while we're doing this bit to remember is not to go all the way up and um, we want to leave a white space between the two hills because obviously this is this is the top of that hill and this is the top of the next hill so this piece in between will be shadowed because it's fallen down and gone back up and we've got rolling hills kind of thing going on so we're gonna just blend that out with the water and the brush so that we've got our little snowbank going on there you go blend it down if you get too much with a, a clean brush just like that, take it off um, and then to our navy and we've got a dip here not there because again I've got my light coming in so this, this hill I've got and then into that one and then a little bit up the side to keep our, keep our depth going remember this is the really strong colour so we want to be really careful as we drag it out not to drag it too far because we can take it off if we've got too much like I had just about there so I'm just going to run that on my soaking wet kitchen towel now and you can see it's all gone from my brush so I can take that colour off if I've got too much quite easily onto my kitchen towel and then I want to create that atmosphere in the corner but not overpower the aquamarine on the light sections Again, the brilliant thing about this glue, the repositionable stick and spray, is that it will just hold this stencil in place and it's not letting any of this water that we're using spray down underneath and ruining my snow hill. And then we're just going to take that colour and then blend it back to, because we've got our hill going on. You don't want an exact line because light doesn't fall in exact lines unless you've got a solid structure but coming down some rolling mountains you'd have other hills and you'd have other bumps and your sheep <laughs> so we're gonna bring that down and take some of that so we've got a snowy hill going on nice clean white area up there with some brilliant light effects okay and off with the stencil now we have finished with that now I'm just going to give it a quick wipe and get that wet stuff off. Now, because it's obviously I want to use this again, um, you can see that I've got another hip hill type um, cut there. But because it's still sticky, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with its partner, which is the Spray Away, again for Crafters Companion. It's on the website. I'm just going to give it a quick spray off camera so I don't get it on my work. Um, you can see see that that's wet now um, give that a couple of minutes um, and then that can will just wipe off and it all that glue totally gone okay so same thing again back to our work if we've got any bleed through just blend those out with the clean clean brush so that you've got your nice edge Exactly, it's entirely up to you because it's your what your how yours will work 
um, and I've got a little tiny bit too much colour just there so I'm just going to bleach mine back, well not bleach but I'm just going to water mine back down just adding some water because I'm not happy just there and then if you want to get a lot off if you just sort of make a scrunch of kitchen roll, kitchen towel and then you can take it off like that and now I've got to completely remove that water area that I had just there okay and now we've got this bottom section so we want to create some some depth and atmosphere going on in our foreground so we're going exactly the same technique we're going to go in with the aquamarine and we're going to go up the sides just you know just blob it on it's you don't have to be able to draw to be able to do this technique it's literally just putting it on in lines and dragging that color back out Dead, dead simple. We don't do hard in my craft room. We do find the easiest way to do something, and Bob's your uncle. So there we go. So now I've got my aquamarine base. I'm going to put a bit more back in this corner because I blended it out a bit too much for my. Totally up to you with how much you've got going on in your sky. I've managed to make mine quite stormy today, um, but I quite like it. Every time you do this, it will be completely different because the the, it, the ink's going to fall differently every time. Back with our navy, just a few spots going on in our corners because again we want to focus everybody in towards those rolling hills back up using our light source. So we're going to ju just top that in. I'm obviously holding my brush a bit further up and like this because I'm right handed and I want you to be able to see so I'm actually holding mine a bit further away than you'll probably hold yours. You don't have to hold it at quite this angle but obviously I want you to get the best effect and you'll see that I'm just blending that out not taking too much of that dark colour and if you've got a really stubborn bit you can just, just poke at it with some watered brush and there you go. Um, and the same again, we're just going to wash over without taking some paint off and we're just going to wash that over to take away any real harsh, obvious paintbrush lines just so that we're taking that back back to the white there we go, and I seem to have missed a bit there that's can't decide if that's missed or whether that's, no it's all all oh, drawing gum, that's fine, I haven't missed a bit and a bit more atmosphere down there, I've taken it all off. There you go, you see, you just go back in, and that's the beauty of this the 300 GSM heavyweight card, uh, watercolor cardstock from Crafter's Companion. Is it gives me the opportunity to be able to do that with thinner watercolor card, you're going to ruin the paper quicker and it'll all bend and buckle and won't dry black back to a flat level card for us to be able to stick on a mount whether it's on the gift card wallet or whether it's on a card or into a frame it makes it so much easier and just taking that back off and again scrunched up tissue and there we go what we'll do in a moment is we'll, we'll, we'll um, remove this um, drawing gun but obviously I need this to dry a little bit first um, so I'm just going to put that to one side and prop that up a little bit and let that dry Okay, and we're going to move on to just wiping off all the excess off my mat for a sec. So if you remember back to the wallet, um, I also have this, this insert section that's got this white centre. So obviously you can use this as an insert to a card or here as the, in the gift tag wallet, this would be your gift tag. Um, and so we want that nice centre but some matching atmosphere. So we're going to work on that. So it's another piece of A6 card. Um, I haven't sprayed this one because most of it's going to be covered in your pocket for your, for your gift card anyway. So again, we're going to take our aquamarine and we're going to go around the two top corners. Exactly the same technique, we're going to wet our brush and we're just going to bring that in. It's, it's a bit wet. So we're going to bring that in. Nice, nice bit of water. and what we'll do is in the corners is because we want to leave this area relatively um, white 
we're going to use sort of like an arched stroke so that we're minding, reminding ourselves to mind that middle section. So we're going to bring that in, and the same there. And you're just going to keep going until you've got the depth of colour that you'd like in your corners. But obviously mine's going to match my front, so nice and round. Same this side. Just keep wetting that brush. Take off the worst, as I showed you at the beginning, which is uh, Brilliant Leanne showing us how to do them. So we're going to go to this bottom corner with our aquamarine. And again, just bring it in. Just fade those brush marks out. Bring it and fade it. And there we go. And then we're going to aquamarine. And our final corner, taking it up a little bit. Bring it back over there because it's faded out a little bit. I've soaked my little bit of towel today. Which is Perfect. So we've got that faded area now. Okay, going on. Nice faded area. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to go in with our navy and just create some depth in the corners. Again, we want, we're, we're just focusing, trying to get people to focus in on the centre. Um, because this is an insert, it's colourising the edges, but without going too far into the centre so I'm just going to disperse that dark colour and again remember take it off if it's if it's contaminating your light too far then we can always take that colour back off on our brush and take it off just there back onto the, ta onto the, the towel ok so we've got this really dark you see, you know, it's quite, it looks quite messy and lots of brush strokey up there, but I'm coming back to it, so it's perfectly fine to sit there and wait for me, because obviously the paper is wet, it's not soaked, but it is wet, so it is going to wait around for me. And then I quite like what this has done by itself, it's sort of like a little rain cloudy option going on down there, so I quite like that. I'm going to leave that and not mess with it too much, so I'm going to dry my brush off and then come back in and blend that back into the aquamarine so we're fading back out now really just fading it back out so we've still got that, that light of the aquamarine in the centre so I'm going to blend that back and just blend that as there we go so we've got, got our colour and I may be a little bit more aquamarine just there I may have blended that out a little bit too much down that side but no colour so there we go just want to right, so clean brush and we're just going to blend out some of these harsh lines and blend it back into itself so we're creating a fluffy cloud in the centre where we will put our sentiment or the gift tag in the in the pocket whatever whatever you want to create with it really so there we go and that's going to be our insert all done and dusted. So just cleaned our brush off on my very soaked towel. We're just going to clean off and get the water off this piece. I'm going to put the pen lids back on my pens. Um, and then we're going to go back to our first one, which is it's still a little bit wet at the edges, but it's but it's dry enough for me to be able to show you. I would leave it a tad longer, um, but it's dry enough for me to show you. And what we're going on so you can actually where where the, the dark color is you can see it better but you can now see where our drawing gum was um, and literally all we're going to do you just have to trust in the magic of the drawing gum and we're just going to rub it off because as you can already see it it peels back so easy just by and i'm li really gently gently touching it and it's peeling it's peeling back here look 
and it literally just comes off the paper and it doesn't mark or damage or peel the paper in any way so it means that we've got the snow flurries and the added extras of bits of snow piles or a bit of reality into the picture and up here it's their clouds, their snowfall, it's bleaching that right back but without having to splatter with bleach or faux bleach techniques where you over wet the card and you can just see that the good drawing gun does a fabulous job of doing that for us and then we just get these little pieces like you would with a rubber and um, it's exactly the same thing I'm sure it's a rubber compound but Sheena Douglas would know better than me but here we go so we're just gonna get rid of those and run them off to one side that's it clean up in a minute right so there we go so that's the completed front of um, the gift card wallet some nice atmosphere going on there and what I did yesterday um, or and one this morning but yesterday I have did this one this one's now completely dry I did this one yesterday but just to show you that no two are ever going to be the same your drawing gum's going to fall in different places here I've got some real splatters going on look much more distressed hill going on um, and then just to show you the difference really I then did it again this morning and I, but I did it in the pink colours and again it's Spectrum Aquas um, and, and again they're from the primary uh, no they're not um, they are from I did bring it they're from the florals um, and I used um, Blossom and Begonia which is this one Blossom and Begonia um, and that from the florals gave us this look um, onto grey um, pearlescent or onto um, the Centura Pearl Hint of Silver would look brilliant with the pinks um, and I'm thinking instead of the snowman we'll pop Christmas tree on again in the classics range Christmas classics from Diazaya if you look on the website there is a fabulous new set of Christmas trees um, out there so that is the end of um, part one um, of how we're going to make this the gift card and this is Snowy Hills with the Spectrum Aquas from Crafters Companion. See you again soon.